Well, today I have an announcement. Um, <laughs> I had said in one of my Get Ready With Me videos, uh, was it Get Ready With Me? No, I don't think it was, or it might have been, I'm not sure, or it was on my Finish 17 by 2017 uh, um, finale, it might have been in that one. Anyways, I had said that I was not going to pan a complete palette for 2018, that I would take it quarterly and I would see how I can get done uh, with some shadows on a quarterly basis. This way I can alternate my palettes. Being that I have so many palettes and being that eyeshadows are my weakness and so therefore I thought it would be best to do it that way. However, uh, I just finished up using my Cargo Vintage Escape. In fact, I did this eye look with it, which I think you've already seen the look and um, I will post it here somewhere for you guys if you guys want to check it out. It was my final look with the Cargo Vintage Escape. Uh, but anyway, you know, there's it was really gratifying to see how far I was able to get with the palette. And uh, there's something about that that I really, really enjoyed. And I'm also somebody who really, really enjoys a challenge. Um, even though eyeshadows are my weakness and it was very difficult for me to go a whole year with just trying to pan those colors, it sort of restricted me into just using that palette if I wanted to make any kind of a dent. That's the truth <laughs> for me because uh, you don't use a lot, you know, you don't use a lot of it. However, it was it was still very rewarding and um, I think that I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to give 2018 another shot to try to pan um, another palette and this time it's just panning the palette itself. I'm not trying to complete it and finish every single product but I do want to pan the shadows and um, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, but the palette that I am going to uh, try to get through is this uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. And the reason why I picked this palette is because I have been finding myself using this at towards the end of this, this year while trying to get through Cargo Vintage Escape palette, I have been pulling these colors along to use with here I have it right here to use with this particular palette um, and I find that it worked very very well so I'm thinking that these colors in here would definitely go with other palettes aside from a very important fact and I will I will tell you that what it is look at this one I just hit pan on that one this one I just hit pan on so um, but look at these colors they are absolutely beautiful and I think that these will really work with other palettes um, so that's why I picked this one uh, and all of these colors are right up my alley uh, Vermeer and Primavera are so identical though these two right here are like identical colors wow I just noticed that right now this is Vermeer and this is uh, Primavera. It's pretty much the same. It's just, yeah, it's pretty much the same, only Primavera is more gold. This is more cooler. Wow. I didn't even notice that. Well, I mean, I did, but I really didn't pay attention to it. But anyways, um, one of the biggest factors though as to why I wanted to pick this particular palette is because there's no black in this palette. No black. Which is perfect. <laughs> um, I, I just don't do very... I mean, I, I can use black definitely, but I know that I won't be able to probably pan it. And that's what happened with the Cargo Vintage Escape. Um, I wasn't able to pan... Uh, black crow it just i just couldn't do it <laughs> um so that's why i picked this one as well because the colors i think can go with other different palettes and the fact that there is no black i like it i like that there's a brown i like that there's a burnt orange i love these cranberry colors i love all these light colors this one's a yellowy tone color that i uh what i've been using when this one was transition color um so yeah, I, I feel like it's it's got some mattes, it's got some creams, it's got it's got everything I think that I can work with. Um, so here, let me give you a good look at that. 
And like I said, the only one that's panned is this one right here. But there you go. And honestly, I just started picking this one up at the end of this, uh, December, actually. That's when I started picking it up. So really, it, they're all full. They're all full shades, except for that uh, golden um, ochre, ochre, golden ochre, except for that one. All the other ones are full. Um, so yeah, I, I went ahead and decided to do that because it is rewarding to get through a palette or pan a palette, try to pan a palette, and I know that I can mix different palettes with this particular one. So that is my hope anyway. <laughs> but it was really, really rewarding to try to get through cargo, the cargo one, the Vintage Escape one. It was really rewarding. I Again, I will put a link down below if you want to see the finale on that one and how I ended up. There's going to be a, uh, a start picture with that one and an ending picture with that one. So that is one project that I'll be working on for 2018. I will also have another project uh, where I'm going to pick 18 products to try to get through for 2018. So 18 by 2018, just like I did 17 by 2017. So that's it, my friends. Uh, that is my announcement. <laughs> I'm going to be panning the palette and I think it's a good one. I think the modern Renaissance, it's going to give me a good variety. All right, my friends, that is it. Uh, let me know which projects you're going to be working on for 2018 when it comes to makeup and your makeup challenges. Are you going to try to pan a palette or do things quarterly or what are you going to do for your makeup challenges? I really, 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 really want to know and maybe I'll get some ideas and jump on board with some of your ideas. All right, my friends, I will see you guys all very soon with my intro to 18 by 2018. Okay, bye.